Khalid. Mr. Khalid is here from Mad Magicians. This will be our course for physics. We will start by defining what is physics. Physics is the study of nature and properties of matter and energy. The goal of physics is to use small numbers of basic concepts, equations, and assumptions to describe the physical world. Any problem that deals with temperature, size, motion, position, shape, or color involves physics. Physics categorizes the topics it studies in a, in a different number of ways. This table shows, this one here, this table shows some of the major areas of physics that will be described in this physics course. Mechanics, we can talk about spinning objects. Thermodynamics, the cooling system of an engine. Vibrations wave and wave phenomena. The speakers that you have in your car or at home. Optics, the mirror that you use to see yourself while you're combing your hair. Electromagnetism, the battery that we use to start a car. Relativity, particle collision, high speeds, nuclear energy, quantum mechanics, the atom and its parts. Now we're going to talk about the scientific method. The scientific method, as you see in this table, is make an observation and collect data, formulate a hypothesis, interpret results, and state a conclusion. The scientific method are certain steps common to a good scientific investigation. This simple chart that you see here, the one that we have here, is easy to understand, but in reality, most scientific work is not so easy separated. Most of the time, you need to dig deeper to prove your hypothesis. Continuing with the next slide. Model. A model is a pattern, plan, representation, or description designed to show the structure or workings of an object system or concept. We use models to explain the most fundamental features of various phenomena. Many of the models are mathematical models. If you see this figure, Many observations can be made if you want to study the motion of the ball, including the balls, surrounding, size, spin, the direction in which it spins, weight, color, that in this case is orange, time that is in the air, our time interval and the sound when it hits the ground, as you can see here. The first step toward simplifying this complicated situation is to decide what to study. This leads us to the next slide. System. A system is a set of particles or interacting components considered to be a distinct physical entity for the purpose of study. Find the focus of attention, for example, Suppose you decide to study the ball's motion in the air. To study this situation, you can eliminate everything except the information that affects the ball's motion. You can disregard other objects that have little or no effect on its motion. To give an example, we can disregard the ball's color. Let's continue with the next one. The next slide it talks about hypothesis. Hypothesis is an explanation that is based on prior scientific research or observation that can be tested. A scientific hypothesis is a reasonable explanation for observations that can be tested with additional experiments. As you see in Galileo's experiment, he modeled the behavior of the falling objects in order to develop a hypothesis about how the objects fell. I will make an experimental lab to demonstrate Galileo's experiment in another video. And now, our last slide, controlled experiments. Like Galileo's hypothesis, any hypothesis must be tested in a control group. In an experiment, test the hypothesis. You must change one variable at a time to 
determine the changes you can observe. Here, you have four questions that you can answer now that you saw the video. In the next video, I will give the correct answer or the possible answers that you may have. Thanks for watching, and remember, physics is life.